Lord, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Forty days and forty nights you were fasting in the world. Forty days and forty nights tempted and yet undefiled. Shall not we your sorrow share, and from worldly joys abstain, fasting with unceasing prayer, strong with you to suffer pain? Then if Satan on us press, flesh or spirit to assail, Victor in the wilderness, grant we may not faint nor fail. So shall we have peace divine, all your gladness all shall be. Round us too shall angels shine, such as served you faithfully. Keep, O oh, keep, keep us, Saviour dear, ever constant by your side, that with you we may appear at the eternal Easter tide. Worship your Lord and God, serve him alone. The Lord's revelation to my Master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever. A priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship your, your Lord, Lord and God. God. Serve, Serve him, him alone. This is the time when you can win God's favor the day when you can be saved. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains leapt like rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it, sea, that you fled? that you turned back, Jordan, on your course, mountains that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. This is the time when, when you, you can, can win God's, God's favor, the day when you can be saved. Now we must go up to Jerusalem, where all that has been written about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. Christ suffered for you and left you an example to have you follow in his footsteps. He did no wrong. No deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up to the one who judges justly. In his own body, he brought your sins to the cross, so that all of us, dead to sin, 
could live in accord with God's will. By his wounds you were healed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we must go up to Jerusalem, where, where all that, that has been written about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. While all the runners in the stadium take part in the race, the award goes to one man, in that case, run so as to win. Athletes deny themselves all sorts of things. They do this to win a crown of leaves that withers, but we a crown that is imperishable. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy. For we have sinned against you. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy. For we have sinned against you. Christ Jesus, hear our humble petitions. For we have sinned against you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Watch over us, eternal Saviour, do not let the cunning tempter seize us. We place all our trust in your unfailing help. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy. Is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast on the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. Watch over us, eternal Savior. Do not let the cunning tempter seize us. We place all our trust in your unfailing help. All praise to God the Father, who brought his chosen people to rebirth from imperishable seed through his eternal word. Let us ask him as his children. Lord, be gracious to your people. God of mercy, hear the prayers we offer for all your people. May they hunger for your word more than for bodily food. Lord, be gracious to your people. Give us a sincere and active love for our own nation and for all mankind. May we work always to build a world of peace and goodness. Lord, be gracious to your people. Look with love on all to be reborn in baptism, that they may be living stones in your temple of the Spirit. Be gracious to your people. You moved Nineveh to repentance by the preaching of Jonah. In your mercy touch the hearts of sinners by the preaching of your word. Lord, be gracious to your people. May the dying go in hope to meet Christ their judge. May they rejoice forever in the vision of your glory. Lord, be gracious to your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, through our observance of Lent, help us to understand the meaning of your Son's death and resurrection, and teach us to reflect it in our lives. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.